Hello. As is usual at this time of year, the weather continues to chop and change fairly frequently, but for most, it's a good looking day out there today. If you like it dry and bright, here's the view from space. You can see much of the country, not seeing too much in the way of cloud, but you can also see quite a lot of cloud out in the Atlantic in these two areas. And this area of cloud and rain, which has been slowly pulling away from the southeast, still lingering along the south coast for a few more hours yet. And the cloud will start to increase once more across the southwest. So quite grey in the south and the weather system in the northwest, bringing rain to the highlands and the western isles, sinking slowly southwards down towards Glasgow by the end of the day, also turning quite windy uh, across the northwest also. But for a good chunk of southern Scotland, the eastern Northern Ireland, northern England, much of Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia, it's a uh, dry and a bright afternoon, feeling pretty pleasant with temperatures around about average for the time of year, generally in the mid-teens. Feeling a little cooler though in northern Scotland with that strengthening wind. And with further outbreaks of rain that will spread across the central belt through this evening, bit of patchy rain maybe for a time heading across uh, Belfast into northern England, and then another line of rain sinking across Scotland and Northern Ireland through the night. Most of England and Wales will be dry, a little bit of mist and fog, not as cold as last night. And again, we'll see cloud and outbreaks of rain coming into the southwest by dawn. Misty, murky conditions here, the odd patch of fog elsewhere as well. But as I said, not as cold as uh, last night, particularly across Northern England and Southern Scotland, where there'll be much more cloud and more breeze around. Friday is a bit of a mess, if I'm honest. The cloud and rain in the southwest will expand north and eastwards. The rain further north will sink southwards. Either side of that, there should be some sunshine. Aberdeenshire having a decent day, much of northern England and north Wales generally getting away with a dry and a bright one as well. And the rain may well peter out from southern parts of Wales, so something a bit brighter later. But we will see outbreaks of rain moving across the south. Outbreaks of rain sinking south further north with some sunshine in between. So, as I said, it is a bit of a messy one, but most places will see a hint of sunshine at times. And we could see some useful rain across the south and the east with temperatures generally in the mid-teens once more. But a cooler feel across Scotland and Northern Ireland, only 11 or 12 at best here. We'll continue with that mishmash of weather as we head through Friday evening. Again, outbreaks of rain in quite a few places, but all tending to ease away, which will perhaps give way to a fine, bright start to the weekend. However, that's not really going to last. The Saturday picture looks very messy again with lots of low pressure systems, lots of weather fronts, plenty of isobars. So we're going to see bands of showers zipping across the country through the course of the weekend. And then this area of low pressure is deepening a little bit as it moves towards the UK, likely to bring a bit more in the way of persistent rain as we head through into Sunday. But again, ahead of that, there should be some fine and bright weather. So the messy, changeable picture will continue through the weekend. If you want more details on the weekend forecast, we will have our weekend forecast up on YouTube by Thursday afternoon. And of course, there's always more if you follow us right across social media.